here at the Bradley Center after the Golden Eagles defeat DePaul with Coach Fran Fraschilla and ESPN analyst. Now, Coach, DJ O, what can you say about him? This guy can take it to the basket, can shoot the ball. What do you think about his game? Well, I really enjoy watching him play. I actually got a chance to see him in November down at the Old Spice Classic, and he came out of nowhere for me. But when you look at his background, high school championships in North Carolina, played at the Patterson School. Then he went on to Hutch, where he got really good coaching out there. And I think Coach Williams has got a gem. I really think DJ O is going to be one of the best guards in this league his junior and senior years. He already has proven that he's a really talented player. You talk about Coach Buzz Williams. What about the job he's done this season with an undersized team, under-talented team? Don't you think this guy's a great coach? Well, I, I mentioned tonight, you know, he's, to me, one of my three Coach of the Year candidates in the Big East, Jim Beheim, Jay Wright, and, and Coach Williams. They lost 5,407 points from the Big Three a year ago, career points. The first, third, and eighth all-time leading scores at Marquette. You liked it. I knew that, right? <laughs> yes, right. Uh, and and to, do, to do what he's done in remaking the program with Dwight Bikes and and, and DJO and, and the resurgence of Kubion and Maurice Acker, I think it says a lot about the coaching staff, Buzz and the staff. And it's a credit to the players for responding to uh, what I think is a really good coach that Marquette has. Now the team's at 500 in the Big East after this victory. Yeah. They've got a favorable schedule coming up. Do you think this team can make the NCAA tournament? I do think they can make the NCAA tournament without a doubt. But the, what's been successful for Marquette over the last few weeks is to start what I call a one-game winning streak. In other words, you can look at the schedule and say, yeah, we got some chances to win games. Can't do that in this league. You just got to focus on the next game. They've done a great job after some really heartbreaking losses of focusing on the next game. And in doing that, they've put together you know, uh, you know, a, a good run here. They can't take anybody lightly in this league, no matter where they're ranked in the schedule, you know, in the standings, because um, there's just too much competition. All right. Thanks, Coach, for your time. Appreciate Pleasure, it. Pleasure, Todd. Thank Reporting you. Reporting from the Braley Center, Todd Warner, MUTV Sports.